Welcome back. You're watching Focus on Africa. The leader of the main opposition party in Seychelles has been charged as part of an investigation into alleged witchcraft. Patrick Ermine, the head of the United Seychelles Party, had planned to run in the 2025 presidential election. Ermini, a former Speaker of Parliament, was arrested on Friday at his party's headquarters, but was freed yesterday together with six other suspects after paying a $2,100 bail. Prosecutors allege that his name appeared in a WhatsApp message between a Seychelles War national and a Tanzanian suspect who was arrested on the 21st of September at the main international airport accused of having witchcraft items. The Tanzanian suspect remains in prison. Well, I'm now joined by the opposition leader, Patrick Ermene, who's joining us from Victoria in the Seychelles. Patrick, thanks for making time to speak to us. What exactly, and, and tell us this briefly, are you being accused of? Well, I really don't know what I'm being accused of. In fact, uh, um, uh, the offense that I've been charged with is basically soliciting advice in several matters for the purpose of superstitious, supernatural, and witchcraft means. Whatever that mean, means, I, I really don't know. Even my lawyer does not understand the charge. I, I mean, so then what are your next steps in this matter? What do you plan to do? Well, first of all, um, uh, we would request that uh, we have uh, a speedy uh, trial because we need to get rid of this thing. Uh, because we know that the intention of the government is to prolong the trial so as to cloud uh, our campaign in 2025. It is all a political witch hunt, the intention of which is to disqualify me from standing in the next presidential election. The president, the incumbent president, knows very well that he's losing his grip on power finger by finger, and that in two years' time, he will be um, defeated um, at the polls. And that is his biggest uh, worry. So he's coming up with all I these trumped-up so, so, charges. So, 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 so help me understand this, Patrick. Sorry for interrupting you. So the pro prosecutors are alleging that your name appeared in a WhatsApp message between a Seychelles War national and a Tanzanian suspect was arrested on the 21st of September. I believe this is at uh, the country's main international airport being found with witchcraft items. Do you know that person, Patrick? Yes, I know that person. Uh, he came to see me uh, last month uh, uh, as an imam in the uh, Islam religion. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, religion, the country, and everything. But that's it. That, that person never talked about witchcraft or anything related to witchcraft. And uh, my name, not only my name, but the name of the president as well, was in, the, in that WhatsApp. So, so to you, this is a witch hunt. Um, do you then feel that it affects your, your chances, your chances politically moving forward? Could this have any impact? No, I, I don't think so. If anything, I think I've gained a lot of sympathy uh, from uh, members of the public, because in this country, we simply, uh, we simply are allergic to, to um, uh, bullying by, by a government. And this is exactly uh, what is happening. You know, um, we have a tyranny in this country and there is no greater tyranny than that which is perpetrated under the shield of law and in the name of justice. Our criminal justice well, system pa Patrick, is in uh, Patrick, I, let me interrupt you. I believe you're a follower of the law. Should the court find you guilty of these charges, uh, what does the law say about your chances of standing in that 2025 election? It affects it, doesn't it? Well, not really. Unless, unless I'm, uh, I'm put in jail, it doesn't really. Uh, I will appeal, obviously. But, you know, uh, all is decided by State House. This is the sad state of affair. Okay. Patrick Amane, thank you so but much there for speaking with us, the opposition leader. Uh, joining us from uh, Seychelles. And in response, the Seychelles prosecutor insists that there is proof of Mr. Ermine's links with witchcraft, which could destroy his political career. We'll find out more about the outcome of this case during the next planned court appearance in early November. Okay. Now, a husband and wife duo from Senegal are this year's winners of the K9 